Let's take a live look over Independence Boulevard back here in the Charlotte area. Weekend off to a uh, somewhat dreary start. Look at all those clouds off in the distance behind the skyline. And we got some showers that are possible tonight through Sunday. Meteorologist Andrew Brightman in the Pinpoint Weather Center. <laughs> Andrew, how much rain are we really talking here? I mean, we're not talking about major amounts of rainfall here. More of a nuisance across the Carolinas as we kick off the weekend. 77 degrees, you walk out the door here in Uptown Charlotte, but it's not the temperatures, but this right here, the dew point, the humidity noticeably higher across the region compared to what we've been seeing over the past few days. Really been a treat here so far throughout the month of September. Unfortunately, that has come to an end, at least for the time being. Pinpoint radar, what I'm watching down across the upstate of South Carolina. Some nuisance showers here, this moisture that's been moving in off the Atlantic Ocean, sort of part of the broad circulation of what's left over from Francine right now. Now around York, we're seeing a little bit of shower activity. You have close to TK, a couple sprinkles as well, but not a major deal here across the Carolinas. Now we zoom out. A couple of things I want to point out here is that we've got two areas of interest. First, we've still got the leftover circulation of Francine off to our west here. And this continues to drive in some moisture, not just from our south, but off the Atlantic Ocean like here. And that's why we've been seeing a lot of the winds kind of out of the east. But also, this is where we're going to be watching here for some potential tropical development as we go through the weekend, really into early next week, watching Monday and Tuesday here. I'll go hour by hour with that forecast a little bit later on in the hour. As for your Friday Night Lights forecast, grab an umbrella just in case, just in case. There's a decent chance we stay completely dry, but just something you want to be aware of here. Future cast in motion, overnight hours, heading into your Saturday. Lots of cloud cover if you're waking up early on your Saturday morning. Not a whole lot of rainfall, though. As we head into the afternoon, temperatures will try to push up into the middle 80s across the Carolinas and might see a few scattered showers and storms, especially down across the upstate of South Carolina. Elsewhere, I don't really, excuse me, anticipate much in the way of what weather. But we are watching, again, down throughout the sand hills. Upstate South Carolina, we'll see some showers uh, through the overnight hours and then clearing out by the time you wake up Sunday morning. As we go through your Sunday morning, a lot of cloud cover, but not much in the way of wet weather, which will be good news here as we kick off your Panther season on Sunday here. We're going to be seeing improved weather across the Carolinas, partly cloudy skies. Can't completely rule out a shower, but overall here as we go throughout the afternoon hours on your Sunday, not seeing much in the way of wet weather in the forecast. Back out into the tropics, watching the eastern Atlantic. We got tropical storm Gordon right now. Not a very powerful storm system as it heads off to the west and west northwest here at about 10 miles an hour. This is what we call a fish storm. Going to be staying out in the Atlantic Ocean, eventually going to be weakening down into a tropical depression, but it's going to be having no impact on us here across the eastern seaboard. This area, though, that the National Hurricane Center is high, a little bit of a different story here. Some increasing potential. We could be seeing some tropical development early next week. It's what we call almost home brew or homegrown. It's very close to the coast, just basically what that means. It won't get very strong, but could drive in a lot of moisture. I'll talk more about that a little bit later on here. As for tonight, could see a couple of scattered showers. Other than that, they're not going to be a big deal. 67 in Charlotte, 67 in Monroe, middle 60s for Salisbury, up in the mountains, upper 50s are expected. Your pinpoint seven day forecast. We have got some unsettled weather as we head through early next week. Really watching Monday night and Tuesday for those showers and storms here across the Carolinas with that storm system moving through and then we dry out as we head through the second half of next week.